My name is Grant Brooker, and I'm a director of uh, Foster and Partners. We're architects and engineers, and designers, and our story uh, on Hong Kong, on Cheplak Kong, on building the new airport there, really came uh, in the early 90s when we won the international design competition to build the new airport terminal. The terminal itself is quite a challenge. It was the biggest uh, single building in the planet. Uh, six million square feet of fully connected space, but also in its scale, a building and a facility that had to work seamlessly, uh, capture the kind of goals of Hong Kong and how they would uh, bring their, their place in Asia, re-establish their point in the center of all the kind of Asian transport hubs. So a transformative project and at a time of great international intrigue, you know, Hong Kong uh, was returning back to mainland China and how the impact of this building would make as a kind of a very brave statement for the future of the island and all the people that live there. Just to put it into context, the scale of a building like that uh, to process 80 million passengers, that's about two and a half passengers passing through the building every second of every minute of every hour every day for 365 days a year. So the volume and the process of dealing with those people, making it that experience exciting, overwhelming, capturing the spirit of transport, that for us as designers, that was a really, really big part. But we thought that was an incredible challenge. But of course, what we hadn't really understood was the scale of the incredible civils projects that surrounded it, and the things that had happened to enable the building in itself to be created. And it was almost as if all the civil engineers in Hong Kong had got together and decided on all the incredible projects that had never been built in their long careers. And the ones that they'd missed, they were going to add in to this particular project to create it. So they needed a new cross harbour link made in sections and submerged under the harbour and built piece by piece. A new highway to be expanded all across the edge uh, of the new territories a road and rail suspension bridge and of course a new railway and the longest uh, uh, road and rail suspension bridge on the planet at Chingma. A new town at Tung Chung to enable all of the workers and people coming from the airport to happen. And then most importantly and quite surprisingly for us, building and creating an island platform where actually there was a mountain and the South China Sea. And all of those things, the scale of that demolition from the mountain, and the reclamation fleet that surrounded it, all to build this incredible platform that we could then build this terminal building on. So an incredible combined civil and architectural and design story, and all happening in this context of the kind of mid-90s, changing and transforming that place and the people. I think at that moment in time, there was nowhere better in the world to be, and no more project that could possibly have been more exciting. The making of the building itself was an incredibly complex uh, engineering uh, process. The foundations were carved out of the existing base of the mountain, out of the hard granite there, and then we really tied the base of the building uh, back into that bedrock so that it wouldn't be flooding away. And then of course the scale of the spans and uh, that allowed the building and the spaces inside it, and the huge vaults, the big 36 meter vaults. Uh, we brought the steel to the island. Every single element of the building was brought to the island and assembled there and then pushed together to make the one single structure. The absolute integration of structure, services, environmental design put together with the architecture still to make the space a wonderful and uplifting experience for the passengers. That was really the, I guess, the triumph uh, of the project. And, uh, that's why its status as being kind of one of the greatest airports in the world was really created by all of those people that happened, that came together, putting together their engineering and architectural and other design skills to make a building like that happen. I think uh, as the world develops and changes, if you really want to make
make a difference and you really want to uh, shape people's lives, improve people's lives, then being involved in design and engineering, the making of buildings, the making of places, uh, I think is uh, uh, an absolute privilege and I just think there couldn't be anything that uh, I would rather do. And I think it's a great place to be.